Johnny. Well, you're still afraid. Stop it now. I mean it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another edition of American Picker Man. This is season seven, episode number four. And as you may or may not have seen in the opener, there, uh, not the not the zombie part, the you know the the regular opening song and whatnot. Uh, is that a song? Uh, music. Let's say music. Uh, song someday, not today. Anyway, did you notice that it said week four, as in as W E A K, not W E E K? Uh, Thanks, Captain Obvious. Uh, as it normally would be, because you know it was a pretty weak week. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, beautiful weather. Couldn't ask. It's probably the best weekend we've had all uh, season so far, and uh, tons of sales. You know, tons of community sales out there that I got sucked into, like some vortex that I really couldn't fight. I'm like a deer in headlights. I just stand there and look around, and everything's picked over and gone. And I don't think there was anything there much to begin with. But I went and you know did my drove 10 feet to the next drove 10 feet to the next and looked and bought you know pretty much nothing hence the week show number four it's awful it's horrible it's tragic it's, it's not horrible it's not the worst week i've ever had by any means as you'll see uh but certainly it, w it was a bit of a disappointment i gotta tell you uh okay all that rambling aside let's let's get to it shall we uh, for ten dollars, kid had it for kid. It was just a kid. I talked him down. So smooth am I. Uh, he wanted fifteen for uh, um, GameCube uh, Mario Kart uh, Double Dash. Uh, I got it for ten because that's how slick I am, uh, and it's worth I think uh, around thirty. So you know that was an easy twenty. Had to take it because I just knew this was going to be a day where I didn't get all that I wanted, which is never, but, you know, anyway, uh, a set of, uh, keys, uh, Corbin, uh, skeleton keys, uh, you know, look at them there, okay? so, yeah, paid, uh, 50 cents for those, and, uh, I could, I could single sell them. Every single cell in my body is happy. Single sell them, sell them individually, as a normal person would say, uh, and probably get about five bucks a piece, or I can sell as a set and get for ten, so, what I'm gonna do, I, I don't know, but there, there they are, 50 cents. I had higher hopes for this guy when I saw it. The Golden Triangle Carafe by uh, Inland Glass. There's the box. Box is in still in, you know, pretty, eh, dollar. See? Just a pretty, pretty good display piece. Just the box alone. Um, inside, of course, is the lovely Vanna White. Vanna! Uh, a little coffee carafe here uh, in good shape. Looks like it's uh, got some water spots on there. I have to clean that up a little bit. I was hoping uh, maybe around 20 bucks on that, but it really, it's only around 10. And even that looks a bit sketchy. So I have to remember not to snarf up all the golden triangle crafts when I see them. Had one of these a couple years ago, I think it was, uh, a, a stamp stand. Uh, I actually had a three tier one that was you know had three tiers uh, this is a little single stage fella uh, has some uh, stamps included with it nothing too exciting there uh, the stand probably I paid uh, I think I, no, I paid two dollars for that I did she wanted she went like five to start and then I put it down and she said how about three and then I came back with two and she's begrudgingly said okay anyway so I got all this for two dollars and it's worth about I think ten to fifteen dollars so that's okay I guess okay Next, for 50 cents, picked up this Boston Champion uh, pencil sharpener. It still rotates. Don't know if it still works or not, but uh, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, not a uh, fantastic find. It's another one of those $10 weeks, guys. Uh, I don't care for them that much. I like I like the big stuff. I like $15, $20 or more. But anyway, I'll take 10 bucks for 50 cents uh, pretty much any time I can get it. Okay, this turned out to be not as... Okay, I didn't think it was cool. I just thought it was kind of kitschy and, and might have some value. Uh, ice bucket for 50 cents. Uh, I thought, you know, that's cool. And it's Georges Bernard or somebody. George. Oops. That was, that was the lid. 
uh, Bertrand, I don't know what, there, you figured it out. I looked it up and I forgot how to pronounce his last name. Anyway, uh, a red ice bucket, vinyl, kind of thought it was kitsch looking, as I said. Uh, and then, didn't even look at it the whole time. Uh, look, it's got that. It looks, uh, that just destroys it for me. I, had I seen that on there? When I looked at it, see, when I looked at it, bought it, all I saw was that. When I got home and looked at it, it's like, oh, yeah, how did that thing get there? That's, uh, so, to me, that just destroys it. And I'll still get 10 bucks for it maybe someday, but you uh, Here, looky here. Got a bag of goods, bag of goods. This is almost going to finish it up, too, so you'll be able to get on to mowing your lawn and whatever. Uh, going to work, what have you. Anyway, I picked up for a dollar this little Sony Walkman uh, belt clip uh, thing here. Uh, AM, FM, radio, programmable. Uh, these go for around $10, $15. What else? It's like my... Party day! Right! Only it's not purple. I, I wasn't going to buy this, but it was only 50 cents, and I thought, why, why not, sucker? Uh, it's a Star Wars uh, Blu-ray disc, uh, Lego, and it's got a young uh, Han Solo in it. Paging Mr. Ellis. Paging Mr. Ellis. There, and I, that's really the reason I bought it was for the minifig, because I know uh, these collectible, you know, limited edition kind of uh, minifigs go for around ten bucks, and sure enough, it goes for around ten bucks. So, another ten bucks uh, for a dollar a piece. Picked up a small collection of three. I guess that's pretty small uh, of uh, these beer tap handles, uh, keg handles, uh, old style lager drink a lot of that back in the day. Uh, Heilman's Special Export. Doesn't say Heilman's, but was anyway. I don't know. Somebody else owns it now, I guess. But anyway. Uh, and a Henry Weinhard Dark Porcelain. Nice handle. Anyway, buck a piece on all those, and they're $10 to $15 a piece. The old style might get 21 or 20 21 Might get 21 32 for that. Uh, this was in a free pile, and I probably should have left them there. Uh, this is uh, wherever. Uh, no, West Bend, sorry, wherever. West Bend, uh, just some thermo serve mugs here. A set of, it's the Four Seasons, in case you didn't catch that spring, summer, uh, fall, and then, you know, burr. So four of those for free, uh, but uh, if I can sell them all, I'll be lucky. Uh, I'll save that for a second here. What else is down here? Oh, let's look at some jewelry real quick while I'm digging around here. Yeah, so that was uh, that was actually stuff that I picked up through the season so far that normally was just not, I forgot about it or didn't have time to put it in. Anyway, that's four weeks worth of jewelry. <coughs> excuse me, four weeks worth of jewelry. Probably even more than that because I was buying uh, stuff before I actually started recording this season's uh, shows um, because I just didn't. It was all I was getting, like a piece or two of jewelry, and that would be it back in the early spring. Uh, anyway, that's what I've got so far this year, and some decent stuff there. Didn't pay any more than a buck or you know fifty cents to a dollar, maybe two dollars on a few of those pieces. Nice piece of gold there, that uh, gold uh, pendant, the two thousand pendant, which is a a nice piece, fourteen karat gold. Got that for a dollar, uh, but it's and, and mill value alone makes it worth buying. Uh, but uh, there are a few of those on eBay uh, that are, uh, I think, going for around $100. People are trying to get that. But it's such a strange pendant. I mean, it's from the millennium, obviously. Uh, so who's going to wear that now unless you got, like, married in 2000 or, or something exciting happened in 2000. You want people to ask, why are you wearing a 2000 pendant? I'm going to stop talking now. Anyway, let's go back to the party day. Right. Um, for a bucket piece, picked up for uh, just melt value only these cement weighted uh, uh, candlestick holders uh, little taper holders there they they weigh a lot but they're cement filled so I think somebody tore one of these apart and I think I've mentioned this before too and there was like a half ounce of silver there so uh, certainly worthwhile and uh, um, okay that, that, that's it for the Party day. Right. The rest is just more of these so uh, Time, let's rest. All right, this is it. This is uh, time for the find of the week. Yeah, that thing. Uh, at, at one sale, picked up uh, these items. Um, picked up this uh, very nice uh, U.S. Uh, military sanctioned. See, that makes it official. Vinyl case. Got the belt clips on it, so it's it's official. The guy was a he was a he was a vet. Uh, but anyway, it's the uh, a Gerber little Gerber uh, folding knife here. Very nice model. Very sturdy. 
very uh, these are a little cleany but uh that's good i picked that up for uh two dollars and i couldn't find an exact match on that but i'm guessing maybe around 20 bucks on that gerber's a pretty good knife still uh but the true find of the week yes is this guy right here uh the same sale uh, saw this sitting there and I was afraid to ask what the price was on it because it was just so cool looking that I was afraid he's going to say something that was going to be out of my price range but he said ten dollars and I said how about five after looking at it again for a minute and scratching my head you know like you know, pondering uh, he took it he said five dollars is good and here, here's what it is uh, from K-Bar uh, a very uh, fine name in knives and cutlery uh, this is a K-Bar uh, zombie knife and this thing is, is wicked it's never been used well because you know zombies they're not real are they uh, anyway look at that guy uh, I think weighs about I don't know pound and a half mm, mm. and could certainly do some damage on any zombie or other uh, horrible creature uh, so yeah five dollars for that and that came complete it looks like in this, you know, box is a little damaged, but that's okay because the goods inside are just fine. So the big zombie machete there, a uh, little, little patch. Um, what else? A little, little skeleton knife here. I guess you got, you know, you got zombies, so you gotta have something for the skeletons. You know, I've seen those skeletons in movies. And and this little, uh, little, another little uh, K bar knife here. Just another little folding knife, a little zombie knife. It's you know a zombie because it's got the the neon uh, you know nuclear green on it there. So that's how you know it's for zombies. And this could you know cut off a finger or something if you want to slow the zombie down. But that's about it. You really need the machete for the zombie. Anyway, <coughs> all that rambling aside, five dollars for the whole works uh, goes. If I, uh, if I sell it as a set, looks like it's around a solid eighty dollars. Seems to be the going rate. If I piece it out, might get a hundred for it. So we'll see what happens, and I'll let you know. Uh, unfortunately, that's it for the week. All I've got is what you've seen. Uh, thank you all for coming by once again. Uh, stay tuned for updates on a few things that sold last week. And hopefully we'll see you in another week or two. Uh, and, yeah, we'll see you. Thanks. See ya. Bye. Ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it! You're acting like a child! They're coming for you. Look! There comes one of them now. He'll hear you! Here he comes now. I'm getting out of here. Johnny!